Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel where I post random crap every Sunday. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a q and A. I I asked you guys to comment down below some questions on here, and I posted a picture on Instagram to ask me questions. And speaking of Instagram, you guys should go follow me on Instagram, wink wink, nudge nudge, go follow me, because I'm cool like that. So we're going to start with the questions from Instagram, so... Yeah. The first question is, what are your favorite TV shows and favorite singers? Well, my favorite, 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 favorite TV show right now is Jane the Virgin. That's right, I freaking love Jane the Virgin. I'm addicted to that show. Like, I'm still freaking shook from the season finale. Like, I can't get over what happened. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, so don't worry, but if you guys haven't heard of the show, you should definitely go check it out. It's dramatic, it's funny, and I just, I, I freaking love it. I also like the shows Dance Moms, Dancing with Stars, um, I also like murder mystery shows like Law and Order, um, I also like, um, 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 I also like the shows on, like, the Investigation Discovery channel that talks about, like, real, like, true crime murder cases, like, I don't know why, I just love those shows, it's pretty weird, but, but for my favorite artists, I, it always differs between three favorite people, three, three, three favorites, what? It always differs between three people. It's always be either Lana Del Rey, Florence and the Machine, and Sia. But right now, I am loving Florence and the Machine. Like I love their music. Florence has such a great voice. She doesn't get enough enough credit at all. And like I, right now, I'm listening to her new album, and I'm sh I am I am just hashtag shook. Hashtag shook. Hashtag I should stop. Next question is, who is your favorite YouTuber? And what are your future plans? I have several favorite YouTubers. Like, I like Kendall Ray. I just love her. She's always been my favorite YouTuber. Like, I've been obsessed with her videos the last couple years. Like, I love her conspiracy theories and true crimes. Like, her videos literally give me life. And I also like, um, Jessie Smiles. She's really funny and I love her videos. I also like, um, Emma Chamberlain. I've been obsessed with her videos lately. And, um, I also like I Just Seen. Like, those are probably my top four favorite YouTubers because they're funny and they're just not problematic. And for my future plans, I would love to live in the state of California because I think California is a nice state and like I love the weather there and I love just just the environment in general and like I just love the state and what I and what I want to do when I'm older is I want to study filmmaking or photography like one of those two because I love those things and I'm good at it so I would love to do one of those two things in my future but I definitely want to live in California in the future. Who's your celebrity crush? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I I would say my celebrity crush is the girl who plays Petra on Jane the Virgin. She's so pretty and I just love her. And I love the character Petra from Jane the Virgin. She's so funny, I just love her. And she's really, she's just a badass. I just love her. Perfect. <laughs> oh, stop it, you'll cut bangs. Where do you want to move when you're older? Um, I would love to move to California, like I said, I love California. But if there are any other states that I would not mind living in, I would say either Colorado, because I think Colorado is gorgeous, specifically Denver, I think Denver is beautiful. And I kind of like North Carolina, but I would say the three the most, I want to live in California, because California is just... The next question is, there's a lot of questions, and it comes from my friend Brianna. You guys should go check her out. She's on 7 Supergirls, so go check her out. But anyway, she asked me quite a few questions, and the first one is, what is your favorite store to shop at? I would say my favorite store to shop at is Five Below. I effing love Five Below because of their phone cases. I'm a phone case addict. By the way, if you guys want me to do a phone case collection, leave them in the comments down below. But yeah, I just love Five Below. Like, this is where I got what? Actually, no, I didn't get this case at Five Below. I got it at Vera Bradley, but I have a lot of cases from Five Below. And I plan on doing a case collection soon, so yeah. And the second question she asked me was, what's your favorite emoji? My favorite emoji is the is of the boy who does this. Like, I'll try to put it somewhere on the screen. It's like the boy in the blue sweater doing, like, 
And this is like the sassy emoji. I just love that emoji and I use it really often, so yeah. She also asked, who is your favorite YouTuber? And like I said, Kendall Ray. But Brianna, you make awesome videos too. You're a close second. What's your favorite meme? My favorite meme, um... Um, wow. My favorite meme is the Kermit meme where he goes, that's none of my business. Like, I just love that meme so much. I also like the meme of the of the woman who's squatting and laughing. I don't know what that meme is called. Um, I'll, I'll put the picture here on the screen. But, yeah, I love those two memes. What are your favorite kinds of videos to film? Um, I enjoy, like, doing tags, haul, wait, not hauls, I never do hauls, but anyway, like, tags, you know, vlogs, you know, challenges, like, I enjoy filming those videos, I didn't get to film them much because I was on a collab channel, but, yeah, I enjoy doing those videos because they're just fun to film, but I love doing any type of video in general where I'm talking. Next question is, what are the top five things on your bucket list? Hmm. I want to go skydiving one day. I'm probably never going to do it because it's kind of crazy, but who knows? You never know. Like, I would love to just know the experience. But I'd say the main thing is just to travel to as many places as I could. Like, I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Paris. I want to go to London. Like, I want to go to, like, like, all these European countries. And, like, I just want to travel, like, in the future. Like, that's one of my goals. I'd love to travel as much as I can in the future before I die because, you know, you only live once, so, yeah. I don't really have that many things on my bucket list. Like, I don't have five, but I really need to think of that. So, thanks for the reminder. Next question is, who's your favorite dance mom girl? Um, Chloe. I love Chloe. She's a really talented dancer. She's my favorite one, hands down. Like, I just love watching her dance. Like, her solos are beautiful. But I also like Nia, Kalani, and I also like Cameron, who was on the show in the last season. But Chloe, hands down, is my favorite dancer. And I was so, so, so happy when she came back. Like, it made me so happy seeing her back with the girls. So, yeah, I would say my favorite dancer is Chloe, but I also love all the other girls. Who or what inspired you to make a YouTube channel? I don't think anybody really inspired me to make a YouTube channel. I just wanted to make it because I was bored. And the rest is history. Like, I'm not big on YouTube, and I probably never will be, but... You know, I just wanted to make a YouTube channel for the fun of it, but I do get inspiration from other YouTubers like Kendall Ray, Jesse Smiles. Um, I also get inspiration from my YouTube friends like Ivy Allow, who's Laura, and I also get YouTube inspiration from like, my friend Brianna. But you know, I, I never got, I didn't get really inspired by a certain person. I just made YouTube videos for the fun of it, like at a random one day. And my videos used to be effing cringy, but. Yeah, I just decided to make videos for the fun of it because I was bored. I was just a bored 14 year old at the time who didn't have nothing to do, so I decided to pick up a, a shitty iPad camera and film a video, so. And the rest is history. Like, I've grown so much in filmmaking in the last few years. I'm not the perfect filmmaker yet, but I am still growing, so. I would say, I just don't have a specific. I don't have really specific inspiration on how I got started on YouTube, so yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling now. Next question is, it's quite a few questions, so I'm just going to go through them one by one. First one is, how old are you? I turned 18 in March, and I don't feel 18, I still feel like a, a 12, 13 year old, like it's so crazy that I'm 18, I just feel so weird being 18, I'm so old. But anyway, I am 18, I just feel so old, it's weird. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Like I said, Kendall Ray. What kind of YouTube videos do you like to watch? I like to watch, you know, like the, you know, the generic types of videos, but I also love conspiracy theories and true crimes. I hope to do those videos in the future on my channel because I really enjoyed doing them and I love true crime cases, like I research them all the time, so maybe in the future I'll incorporate them in my videos, so yeah, those are the type of videos I love to watch. YouTube or Netflix? I would say YouTube because I'm on YouTube more rather than Netflix. Like, I rarely use Netflix. Like, I've only watched, like, two shows on Netflix. Jane the Virgin, of course, and, um, Fuller House. Like, those are the only two shows I've watched on Netflix, so... Yeah, so I have to go with YouTube. Favorite food? Do I really have to choose one? But I would say sushi is my favorite food, but I also love pasta. Like, pasta's a close second, and I also love burgers. I love buffalo wings, boneless. Like, I, I love, like I, like, I pretty much love food, as you can tell. What celebrity would you wish to meet? 
Uh, I would say Florence Welch, who's the lead singer of Florence to the Machine, Lana Del Rey, Sia. Um, I, also, I also would love to meet Gina Rodriguez, who plays Jane from Jane the Virgin, and Petra from Jane the Virgin. I, I can't remember her name, but like, I would love to meet her as well. Like, I would just love to meet many people. Like, like just, it would be nice to meet any celebrity in general, well, except celebrities that I hate, but... Yeah, that's like the people I mentioned are the ones who I mainly would like to meet. Now we're getting to the last set of questions, and these are some juicy questions, so they may get a little, I may get a little bit political, so trigger warning if you're not into politics. What are your political views? Okay, when it comes to politics, I am a very, very, very liberal person. Like, I consider myself a liberal Democrat because, like, I'm very, very, very liberal. Like, I'm just gonna say that I don't support orange, narcissistic, racist sociopaths. Like, I'm still in shock that he won. I'm not even gonna refer to him as, as his name because he's not worth it. So, yeah, like, I'm just a very liberal person. Like, I don't support racist people. Like, I am against racism, homophobia, sexism. I'm against all that, all that j junk. So, yeah. How do you feel about kids being separated at the border? Wow, this is a topic that, that makes me so angry, but I am pretty pissed off that that happened. It's it's absolutely disgusting how kids are being separated from their parents at the border. Like, it pisses me off. Like, it's like, how can somebody be so cruel and immoral to do something like that? It's deplorable. It's just, ugh. It's like, I can't even talk about it because it makes me... It, it makes my blood boil that, that this is happening to kids. It's like, no no children should be separated, separated from their parents like that. <sighs> like, I'm just gonna move on to the next question because like, if I keep talking about it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be very pissed off, so, yeah. Opinion on gay people. I think it's 100% okay for someone to be gay, bisexual, lesbian, transgender, whatever. I think it's 100% okay because, number one, it's 2018. We, we should be supporting these type of people nowadays. Like, I feel like it shouldn't matter who you love. It's like, as long as you're happy, that's what should matter. If you're happy in your life, like, that's the thing that should matter. You should be able to be free to love who you want to. And homophobic people need to shut the F up. Because it's 2018, and you're literally judging things by a book that was written over a thousand years ago. So, yeah, I, I think it's okay to be gay or, or to love who you want in general. Like, be, feel free to love who you want. What do you want in the person you date? What I want in someone is, is that, that they're a good person. They're someone who's not mean. They're not rude. They're not racist. They're not sexist. They don't discriminate against anybody. Like, I don't want that in the person I end up dating or getting married to later in life. Like, I just want someone who's a good person who believes in spreading kindness than being a bully. Like, that's what I want in someone. Like, I care about someone who's a good person. Like, I'm more about personality over looks. Like, because, like, your personality is what really what makes you beautiful. I know that sounds cheesy, like, Miss America, Mr. America, America, Mr. America, Mr. America level. But anyway, it's a truth. Like, I just want someone who's a good person. Like, someone who would not be judgmental and cruel. Like, I think those types of people are ugly. What is your goals in life? My goals in life? I would love to just put myself out there more. Like, I've always been a very shy person. I have social anxiety and other crap wrong with me. Like, I've just always been a very anxious person to talk to other people. Like, like I know I come off as very upbeat here on YouTube, but in real life, I'm a very, very, very quiet person. So I really want to work on that. And like I said, another one of my goals is to move to California and do filmmaking and photography in the future. But, like, I would just love to be able to put myself out there more. Like, that is what I want to do Like in life, just not to be just as shy. Like, that is one of my life goals, and hopefully I'll do it soon. But, you know, it's gonna it's a work in progress. But hopefully I, I get over this fear of just being, of talking to people, because I don't want to be shy. I want to be able to just talk like a normal person. So, you know. Last question is, do you have any sibling? Yes, I have two siblings. I have a brother and a sister. I have a brother who is 32 years old, and I have a sister who is 22. And they both appeared in my videos. Well, my brother was in my Bean Boozle challenge where he had a, he spoke actually in a video. And my sister, she was in my New York vacation vlog video from like two years ago. She was in the video, but she was only in it for like 10 seconds and she didn't say a word. But yeah, like my, my, my siblings have appeared in my videos. So yes, I have two siblings.
Alright you guys, that was all the questions for my Q&A. And if you guys want me to answer more of your questions, comment them down below and I'll probably answer them in a future Q&A. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. But anyways, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because I have some awesome content to come for you guys. But anyways, I'll see you guys next Sunday on my channel with a crappy video. Alright, bye! Uh...